This aircraft is a uh, 1940 Waco biplane. It was used by the United States Air Force during the Second World War as a trainer. Uh, we actually have three of them. Uh, we have a 1938 and 1939. We have uh, one based here, one based now in Carp, and one based in Alberta. The Aviation Museum we run daily here, seven days a week from 10 till 4. Uh, we take two passengers at a time. We take you over downtown Ottawa, Parliament Hill and back again. It's a hoot. You're probably aware this is the 100th anniversary of the First World War. And after the First World War, uh, pilots came back from the war and uh, looked for a reason to fly. So they used to go to farmer's fields and hop rides to the local people. We can't land in farmer's fields anymore, but we can do the next best thing, which is fly out of carp. It's got a very rural kind of feel to it. And we can get you over downtown Auto or downtown Canada and the uh, Canadian Tire Centre for a reasonable price. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it's $85 a person. And like I said, we take two at a time. That's about 15 minutes. Like I said, it gets you around the Canadian Tire Centre, around all of Canada, Stittsville. Uh, the prices at the Aviation Museum are a little bit different. Uh, we have a number of packages available at the Aviation Museum. So the best bet is to go on the Aviation Museum website and get the information there. Boy, I started here a long time ago at this airport actually in 1971. So that's how old I am. <laughs> I've been, I did the airline stuff for a while and I did the corporate stuff for a while and I've been doing flying these uh, vintage aircraft for 25 years now. Because <laughs> he's a bus driver and uh, he's seen it fly over often and he wanted to uh, surprise me with this and this is what we're doing. <laughs>